Well, Skelmersdale, I'd like to start by giving you a feel for Skelmersdale the place. Not from me, but from the people themselves. The best thing about Skem to me is, is the people. Uh, they're very generous and it's a close-knit community and everybody seems to know everybody else. Uh, it's just a great place to live. You know what, I think it's potential. The potential of Skem. It, it is a prime location. 12 miles down the road you've got Liverpool, 25 miles down the road you've got Manchester, you've got uh, Preston which is a lovely common city which is literally 20 miles away, not even that. It's in a prime location. I love the people here, I think that was one of the things that, that drew me to here. Um, people are very special in Scalmerson. I think to a very large extent there is a massive focus on helping young people. There's so many creative places to be that you know there's a lot of um, social enterprise there's the art center there's um, different groups for um, like singing dancing and um, I also love like the, the fields there's also a lot of greenery so that's quite good it's with wonderful people it's amazing people and they help so much to us because you know, I think without those people it's much different, more than much difficult to stay to this town. So those are real people. Real people like Shirley and Shirley's daughter, who's frazzled because she works all hours to bring in the money. And Shirley's son-in-law, who's frazzled because, despite the job offers, they just don't cover the childcare costs. And Shirley's two-year-old grandson, who's frazzled because, whilst he may not realise it, his opportunities are being dampened because of all of this. And yet we know from the work of Marmot and others that it is now that Shirley's grandson needs things to change. It is now that he needs to be given the best start in life. And whilst his parents are trying their best to do that, we, collectively across Skelmersdale, have the power, the opportunity, the influence to truly raise the bar in what best looks like for Shirley's grandson so that he can really meet his full potential. So aspiration is one of our core principles. And to help us understand what best can look like, we need new conversations. New conversations with new people. Not round a board table, dictated and confined by an agenda, but over a cup of tea. In people's homes or where it is that people come together. The school gate, the GP waiting room, the shopping centre, creating relationships we haven't had before. But these new relationships feel right. They feel like the conversations we should be having, should always have been having. They feel like the conversations that will be the ones to make a real difference. So intelligent partnerships is one of our principles. Not just getting people together, but getting the right people together. And with these new conversations emerges a new set of leaders. You've just met some of them. And a new network of leaders. Leaders from the community, leaders across sectors, leaders who are enterprising, who bring respect, influence, new ideas, new behaviours. We need to capitalise on this, on the opportunities of making connections across all of this, on creating the space and the conditions for these leaders, including those with lived experience, to come forward. So mobilising leadership is one of the things we're about. So we have huge opportunity afforded to us, but there are challenges. Like Shirley and her family, many are just managing. At times it feels like just surviving and not all is as good as it may seem. If they had something scared for people to go and spend the money, those that are unemployed would go, you know what, I'm going to get off my arse. I'm going to go and get a job. I've got something to spend my money on. Because if you haven't got money to spend your money on, why bother working? The thing is, I think, as, as a town and a community, I think we're, we're neglected. I honestly think that we need a spark to, to, to generate, to, to get the, the town rolling. Because um, I think the opportunities for children. You know, there's a lot of things in this town that the town's lacking or that have been taken away, where I think the children are basically suffering from. Transport, especially in Townhouse, we don't get a bus. And where we live, um, there's lots of ways, there's a lot of paths, but they're not lit up. And once it goes dark, you're pretty much isolated. Mm -hmm. Kind of bigger branded shopping areas, because it's understandable, no one's going to want to build their business in a place where their clientele isn't going to be. But 
it's I think it's that question of what should come first should the businesses come to the town or should the town facilitate the businesses and welcome them in and I think at the minute we're struggling to welcome in new business how can you expect people to have this positive thought process of what Skelmersdale is if it doesn't look nice if it looks run, run down and old and, and cheap uh, I think that just maybe I don't think a lot has to be done I just think if it was maybe just that extra effort to make stuff look like it's been cared for. Ultimately, we're about creating a connected place. But are there themes emerging for Welsh Gulmersdale? Well, yes. We have themes on enterprise, aspiration, environment, reframing health. But what does this really mean? How will these themes help us achieve our goal of a connected place? Well, that's best understood when we imagine a future state. So fast forward five, ten years, what may this look like? Well, let me talk to you about this. Imagine this, a community like this. A town centre in redevelopment that is looking, sounding, smelling, feeling different, a place you want to be, with everything you need together or connected to your local community and the existing assets of which there are so many within those communities. Imagine a community with revival in the housing, modern, beautiful, high quality housing, where the buildings have beehives on the roof, with bees producing honey that's used in the cake that's made in the cafe, operating to a model like Jamie Oliver's 15 Foundation. Honey that's used in the treatments and the holistic therapies on offer in the local commercial spa, part linked to the local approach to mental health and well-being, part linked to the local social prescribing programme. Honey that's sold at the thriving local produce market and beyond. Imagine this community with an enterprise hub, somewhere where those sparks that people have can be truly ignited. An incubation lab for new businesses, new ideas, new ways of working, new ways of creating money, growing confidence, aiming high. Somewhere where enterprising attitudes and behaviours can be nurtured, cultivated and grown. Imagine this community as a learning environment for children, including very young children, operating as one with the youth zone capitalising on opportunities of working across generations with older people from West Lancashire who may be lonely or isolated coming and sharing their gifts, their capacities, their skills with the children of Skelmersdale to raise aspiration, develop respect, to engender a new culture. Imagine all of this operating as one with a newly refurbished wellbeing centre with a pool, leisure facilities, GPs and more under one roof but not just GPs, a new, more relevant skill mix of workforce for meeting people's health, care and well-being needs, working as one, where a social prescription is on a par with a medical prescription. With everyone under that roof having collective accountability for the real difference they are all aiming for. Knowing each other by name, their first name and there being an equal playing field for them all. Somewhere where people aren't just interested in what's the matter with you, but what it is that matters to you. But that's just one example to illustrate our ambition in what we can achieve here in Skelmersdale. It gives an insight into the investment opportunities we have on offer, but are there more? Uh, well, I'm always into recreation. I love recreational side. I think wellbeing is, 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 is important. And a sports centre uh, would be a prime example because we haven't got, um, with a, a town that's got 40, 50,000 people in, I think it's ludicrous that we haven't even got a sports centre. I would, this is me personally, I, I would like to have some sort of theatre that, that, that is, is, is to be used, you know, for the community. Um, oh, for me, really good coffee shop, probably a cinema stroke theatre. Theatre. Um, Good venues for live music. Yeah, I'd love a proper park. You know, like you've got a coronation park in Ormskirk. I'd love there to be a nice park where we can all, all get together and have different events, let the children play if they want to. Um, the first one I think would be is to add a really powerful, a really well-connected transport link 
Uh, I know there's obviously been a long debate throughout the town for whether there is going to be one, but I think that giving people those connections, make it starting to get transport as a main priority, that would easily allow for more visitors, for more commuters into the town, and that would be a starting point. We are Wells Skelmersdale. We invite you to join us in this, to be our friend in this, to hold a mirror up to us on this, to help us learn and develop so that we cultivate and bring forward the very best for making a real and relevant difference to the lives of real people. The steps we may take at first may be small, but our ambition is big. We believe it's the small things that make the big things happen. We have the people, we have the place, we have the ideas, we have the will to make this happen. Join us.